Hey people, how you guys doing? This is Kim Douglas, the CEO and founder of Prosperous Property Investments. Just coming to you today just to drop, drop some prosperity points and to tell you guys happy holidays and Merry Christmas and just share some things with you. Some things I got going on in my mind, going on in my head, right? <laughs> So, I just want to give you guys a couple minutes, a couple seconds to come in. As you're coming in, go ahead and tell me where you're coming from. Tell me how you're feeling. Drop me a line as long as it's positive. I'm just going to give you a rundown of how my day is going. It's pretty amazing. You know, I'm just chilling at home in my sweatshirt, you know, <laughs> hanging out with the family, hanging out with the kids, and just having a really great time today. And I really hope that all of you are doing the same. Whether you're celebrating a holiday or not, just family time is important. You got to make time for it all throughout the year. Thanks, Joseph. Glad to see you here, too. You're coming from Washington, and your day has been amazing. Hope the same holds true for you. Yes, always an amazing day. I always say, have a prosperous day on purpose, and I really mean that. You know, if you want to, you can. So yeah, as you guys are coming in, we're going to give it about 30 more seconds. Then we're going to get into the topic. The topic today is going to be the gift of change. The gift of change. Why is that important? You know, I'm going to give you like 15 more seconds. Let me know where you're coming from. And then we will get on to this subject. All right, so I'm going to get started. So today I'm going to be talking about the gift of change. So earlier I was like, okay, what should, what I'm, what's going on in my head today? What should I talk about? So I watched an actual video from an amazing inspirational person. If you don't know who Eric Thomas is, please, please, please go Google him right after this. Like he's always got some good information. I love how he's so real and he just, he's himself. That's one thing. You gotta find your voice. You gotta be yourself and how you deliver your message. And he does so, so beautifully. So Eric Thomas, look him up whenever you get the chance. And he was talking about this today. Uh, well, the video I saw today was the gift of change. And I kind of tied that in today because today is Christmas. Everyone's giving gifts and getting gifts, but you wanna get the gift of change. And I'm gonna tell you why, right? So during the video, he was talking about the gift of, of, of change. Basically, we all want success, you know, and everything that comes with it. So how do you get from the now in what you have, like basically what you have currently to where you want to be in the future, your future goal, your future vision, you know, that Tesla Model X, you know, <laughs> how do we get there? How do we get there, you know? So basically, he said, it's in your daily grind. It's the things you do every single day. Every single day. Every single day, you got to be doing something to move toward those goals. You got to change. You got to change. Like I said a couple weeks ago, insanity is doing the same things over and over and expecting a new result. You know, if you're not making enough money to maintain a Tesla Model X, then how are you going to be able to get it? If you're not making enough money to maintain a plane <laughs> and you want a jet, then how are you going to get it? Yes, that is insane. So you're going to have to change your action to get a different outcome. So basically what he was saying is in your daily grind, it's in the things that you do and work on every single day. He just basically said it, black and white, winners win, losers lose. Winners win, losers lose, right? So if you're you got to evaluate you got to see hey am i in the losing category and evaluate different areas of your life if, if there's anything that you don't like then you're losing in that category and you know what that's okay it's all about awareness and seeing where you are now so that like i said you can take that near sight and move you into the far sight which is where you want to go right so as you're evaluating you need to ask yourself, well, if I'm losing in the area, how do I get out of loser's lane into the winner's circle? How, how do I get there? What, what do I need to do? You know? So ask yourself that question. First of all, he was saying you cannot have a victim mindset. You know, you got to learn how to be a victor instead of a victim. You know, you can't grow. The change is not going to come if you don't change the inner workings of what's going on up here. If you want to blame everything and everyone else, you just got to stop that. He said, stop being a victim, learn how to become a victor. And I'm going to, I'm going to give you some more tips on that, right? So I said earlier when I, was, when I was going through this video, I was thinking, we've all heard the phrase, success leaves clues, right? 
But you got to realize failure leaves clues as well. <laughs> what are those clues? Well, they look exactly the opposite of success clues, you know? So that's how you know um, what needs to be changed. If successful clues are pointing you in this direction and you are going in this direction, you, you got to realize it's black or white in this situation too. It's either you're going toward the success or you're going toward the failure. So you have to, like I said, evaluate and know which direction you're going. He gave three good tips, three good tips to help you out. You know, he said, first of all, no excuses. You know, if we're going to be a victor, and not a victim, and we're actually gonna really let change take place in our life, in our circumstance, in our business, we cannot make excuses. No excuses allowed, you know? Uh, you gotta be a person of your word. I read a book, Four Agreements, Four Agreements, really amazing book, you know? And it breaks that down into one of the arrangements, four arrangements, is that you have to be a person of your word you have to be a person of your word. So you can't make excuses. You can't you can't make excuses. If you said you would get something done in your business or for someone or or do something or or you got to do it. And then he said focus more on winning than anything else. Like focus on the winning. <laughs> you know, divorce the outcome and marry the process. So you got to focus on the winning. Like the skill set will come with practice. You got to focus on the end goal, which is we're winning. <laughs> and as you're winning, are you going to mess up? Yes. But as you're winning, are you going to get better? Yes. So that's why I said you're going to focus on the end goal. Focus more on winning than anything else. Everything else will come with time and with practice, you know? And the third thing he said was just to, you know, Raise your standards. Raise your standards and your values. You know, what's important to you? What do you believe? What will you tolerate from yourself? <laughs> so he said, we are always wanting, this is really powerful when he said this, he said, we're always wanting a guarantee from others, but we're not willing to put a guarantee on ourselves. Like I said earlier about holding yourself accountable. He said, put yourself on punishment. You know, I was like, that's kind of weird. What do you mean by that? <laughs> He said, put yourself on punishment. He said, if you said that you were going to uh, do this in your business, or if you said that you were going to do this with your family, or you said you were going to, you want to change, right? You know, change is about habit, forming habits, right? So if you're not doing the things daily that require you to advance in your business, what's going to be the consequence for that? Are you going to hold yourself accountable? He said, what can you take away from yourself? What should be a privilege that you have to earn? He said, look, if you didn't make the phone calls you were supposed to do today, if you didn't finish the website you were supposed to do today, or, or reach out to whoever you were supposed to reach out today, put yourself on punishment. There should be no TV. What else can you take away? Time with friends. You know, shopping. You know, no hanging out. No sleeping in. That's a big thing that he said. He said, no sleeping in. He said, you need to hold yourself accountable for the actions that you need to take to move you forward, the change, the changes that need to occur in order to advance you and to move you forward. Les Brown, another amazing, inspiring individual, entrepreneur, just motivator. Look him up as well, too. <laughs> he said, if you do what is easy, your life will be hard. But if you do what is hard, your life will be easy. I'm going to say that again. If you do what is easy, if you do the easy things to do, like not holding yourself accountable, you know, not raising your standards, making excuses, if you do the easy things, your life will be hard. But if you do the hard things, it's hard to hold yourself accountable because it's not the normal thing that we do. It can be hard not to make excuses if you're used to making excuses all the time. And it can, you know, if you're not used to being, having standards, then you see what I'm saying? If you do what is hard, your life will be easy. So you're going to have to change your mindset, change, there goes that word again, the gift of change, into what you want. You know, you have to have your actions meet your expectations. If you want to see this level of success, you can't be down here with your action, meaning expecting to do nothing and just 
magically <laughs> raised to this level here of success. So your actions actually have to meet your expectations. Let me see what got going on here. Uh, so many fall down the easy path. Very true. You know, <laughs> that's why the successful are very few. You know, it's, it's very few. But you have to ask yourself, do I want to be one of the few or do I want to be one of the many unsuccessful people? Do I want to be one of the few successful people or one of the many unsuccessful people? Yeah, it's real easy because everybody is doing the easy thing. You know, you start taking responsibility. You start, you know, putting that guarantee on yourself holding yourself accountable, moving toward the change. <laughs> like I said, having the acts, the actual actions that can meet those expectations, you know, to get you to that higher level of success and accomplishing those things, you will see great things happen in your life. Like I said, this gift, <laughs> this gift of change is available to anybody. It's available to anybody who's willing to open up the gift and use it. So, who is going to use the gift of change in their life and in their business? I just want to leave you with that question. Just tell you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for liking, for sharing, for commenting. I love the conversation. <laughs> I love the back and forth, you know? So just let me know. You know, I, I just wanted to put that out there in the atmosphere, in your mind, that, you know, are you going to use the gift of change? It's a gift. It has to be, you know... You have to take it. <laughs> you have to use it. You have to open it up and use it. Use that gift of change. So I'm going to say, say again, thanks again for coming, for liking, sharing, you know. And literally, seriously, if you want change in your business, you got to take the actions that meet your expectations. You have to do something different from what you have done in the past. If it's not working, then it's going to continue to not working. If you're serious about making change in your business, go ahead and click the link above for more information. All right. Just want to say you guys have a very, very, very Merry Christmas and have a prosperous day or night on purpose. Yes.